Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeebus, guys. We are at a brand new facility, almost an hour away from the house that we have never been to that just happens to be right outside of a college campus. So, fingers crossed, we're gonna find some good stuff in here. We got a really small unit. It looks really packed for that little. Only paid 60 bucks for it, but there's gotta be something good on it. So without further ado, let's get digging. All right, since this one's down on the floor, I'm just gonna sit down here and make it easy on myself. First thing we see, a whole thing of shoes. I'm size 15, so I wanna bet they're gonna be like 10, 11, 12, like what they usually are, right to where I can't fit them. But they're still really easily sellable, so that's good. These KDs, they look like, yeah, are size 11, and both of them are there. But boom, size 11 right off the bat. God, ew, look at the bottom of it. I mean, now it's just dirt that'll come off, but this is like size what, Shaq, 20? This is a size, 16. I could almost fit in that. They might be a little loose. It depends on the shoe. Like these right here are 15s, and I got another pair at home that are 14, so who knows? Ooh. These are even my colors. I always wear black, red, and white. That's just everything I own pretty much is black, red, and white. That's like my favorite combination. These are these are actually 14s. If these clean up, these are mine. I'm not selling these. I like these actually. Mm, look at that. Two of them too. Yeah, I'll definitely clean these up and I'll probably keep these for myself. But already, where's the other big shoe? Seems like that would be easy. Ooh, look at those. And they're dirty too, but like a lot of this, I don't know about all that now. What size are they? They're 14s too. I might be able to get in these, but then again, I don't know how well they're clean up. We have to check and go through all this. Like some of this you can get off, sometimes you can't. So it all depends on that. Is the other one in there? Yes, it is. Another pair of Jordans. Nice. There's the other monster shoe. Size 17 or 16. That is huge. I think my 15 to you. That's massive. And then the best pair of shoes of all, these things. They have some, or one of them has a insert in it. But all right. Just in shoes, they might not be in the best condition, but most likely already got 60 bucks. We paid for the unit back already. But honestly, probably won't sell this one. Maybe these. So I don't know. But, uh, there's the top to the trash can. Right, let's see what we got in this one. Uh, a poster. All right. This is all cooking stuff except for this. Why is there one random high heel in here? And Klein or something. I can't tell. It's kind of worn. Those are pretty beat up, honestly. I don't know how much they'd be worth. But if someone's heard of that brand, let me know. Oh, they have one shoe in the blender. Look at that. Everything else in here is like toaster, blender, just kitchen stuff. So that stuff sells decently, not in anything special, but you can get decent money for it. People always need it. What are these big things? SFC Pro. Some rain boots, I guess. It's raining pretty hard outside. I need those right now. What is that? Just a sheet? Curtain? No, is this a gown? I don't know. What is this? This might be the thing that goes underneath your mattress, you know, just to give it that trim look, I'm guessing. What else have we got in here? Uh, nice little warm jacket. Never heard of Miramont. Miramont? Miramont? I don't know. If anyone's ever heard of that one, you gotta let me know if that's worth anything. But, let's see. Ooh, this is a nice coat. Real stick, at least. What brand do we have here? Free Country? I wonder if that one's worth anything. I'm hoping for North Face. North Face is one of those brands I know I can always sell really easy. North Face is just easy sale. But this feels really nicely made, so hopefully that's worth a little something too. What is this one? That's Calvin Klein. Uh, last time we sold a Calvin Klein suit top like this. Is that, a, that what this is? No, this is more of a winter coat. But last time it was a suit top thing, we got 25 bucks for it pretty easily, so maybe a coat might be another 20, 25 bucks. What else have we got? A bag that is. Oh, uh, where's the brand on it? There we go. Azaro? I guess that's what it says. Nothing inside of it though, completely empty, but looks like a nice bag. Other than that, we got one sweatshirt. Pizza Bakers. Alright. And then another trash can. Scoot that aside. Oop, I see North Face right there. What is that before we go any further? That's just a bag, not even a jacket. Or is it a vest? vest. That's a vest. Huh. <laughs> it's a 
some it's nice like a hiking vest. Yeah, that's what I was say, like mountain climbing or something. Oh, I wonder what that's worth. The one I kept myself is like supposed to be for skiing. It's like 200 and some dollars. So maybe this one's worth something like that. That'd be nice. But I mean, that thing looks like in great condition. It's got all this stuff on the back of it. So hopefully that's worth some money as well. Get out of here. All right. We have a random little, it's like the bag food delivery people use to keep your food warm in it when they bring it to you. It says Grubhub on the front. Oh, it does say Grubhub. <laughs> Empty water bottle, $1,000. Uh, let's see. What do we have in here? I feel like hats and more clothes and things like that. Dirty old hats. Nye. Nye. Down in there. This is just a bunch of dirty old hats. Not really the best money maker. Yeah. That just looks like random cheap clothes. We'll go through all the clothes and stuff when we get home to make sure there's no bigger name brands in there. But most likely, when we find it in bags like that, it's usually just like Walmart, Old Navy, not really worth keeping. What do we got in here? Again, just random clothes. All the way down. Whole basket of random clothes. Ugh. Stay. Okay, I'm trying to think of the best way to do this without knocking everything down. Maybe this first. That's just a blanket. Get over there. I see a yellow purse over there. Another blanket. Let's see what's in here. This feels extremely heavy, so I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess. This again is all clothes. But there could be stuff, like I said, the name brand designer in there, so we'll have to go through it in more detail once we get it home. Oh, dang, it's heavy. All right, let's see what else we got going in here. What's that purse? Come here, come here. Okay. All right, hopefully I didn't just break nothing. But we have, it looks like, it feels like pleather. Doesn't have a name brand on it, so. Probably some cheap junk, unfortunately. Let's see. We got two Swiffers, uh-oh. Two Swiffers. These aren't really worth much. They're like only, they're not even expensive new, are they? Still, they do have a little bit of liquid. So maybe we could sell them for like five or $10 a piece, something like that. Is that all? Okay, we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> this, again, all freaking clothes. I really hope there's a donation bin nearby so we can get rid of a lot of this stuff on site without having to worry about taking it home because most likely, like we said, it's going to be a lot of cheap stuff. Let's see what's in this one. I don't want to knock down that keyboard. Oh. Ooh. Look at that. I thought this was like a toy at first, but... This looks like it could be like actually professional. Look at this. You got volume controls, different modes, editing, and look at all the inputs on the back for all the different type of audio cables. Huh. That could hopefully be worth a decent amount of money. I have no idea. I've never done anything like this, but it looks like one of those things you see in the booth, you know? You change the sound and everything. That could have decent value to it. I hope so. If anyone knows anything about it, let me know. It's a Roland. Hmm. There's the other one of those like weird clog boots or rain boots, I mean. This might be another bag full of clothes. I see Timberland already too. Yeah, that's all this is. Another bag just full of clothes. Ooh, brand new seal. Hey, Top Gun. Brand new sealed. I don't think it's worth very much, but still it's a brand new movie. That's kind of cool. What else we got going? These Timberlands have seen better days. They're not in the greatest of shape, but the last time we found a pair that was literally covered in paint, I mean, completely covered in paint that wouldn't come off, still sold them for 30 bucks. So who knows what these could be worth. If we can find the other one. A New Balance shit that's gigantic. Jeez, size 15. I don't really like New Balance though. It's got a bunch of DVDs in here, Green Streets. Anything I've heard of? Not really. It's got a Blockbuster sticker on it. That thing's been in there for quite a while. And yeah, all DVDs. So I have a giant shoebox that looks like full of paperwork and things like that. Look in here first. Nothing. Looks like oops, all the rest of this is just full of DVDs. There's a little bit of stuff in here. Some of these keys. 2013 graduation, so 
They might have went to the college. That might have been a high school graduation, maybe. Checkbook. Does anyone still use a checkbook today? I always wonder that. Some bank cards that are still good, technically, so you can't use them. And other than that, just all DVDs, but get some sunglasses. DVDs are really hard sellers anymore. Like, literally, we can't even barely get 50 cents a piece for them anymore at a flea market, so they're not really as fun as they used to be. Remote, uh, nothing. Pens, this might be all paperwork, I'm assuming. And that's what it looks like. What is that? A Ray-Ban lens. Where's the actual Ray-Ban bands at? These are O'Neill. Um, golden nail clippers like this. Always, always, always. I mean, like I said, there could be stuff in these envelopes. This is just something else you're gonna have to go through in more detail at home instead of going through here because it would take like two hours to sit here and go through all this stuff easily so it's got to be something we go through at home Some dust in there is strong though so whatever's in there has been sitting in there for quite a while but it looks like all it's in there i'm gonna get this out of the way all right hey i didn't even notice this dish drainer where'd that even come from i don't know i know that too oh, okay another purse here a purse with purses in it <laughs> What is that? I have no idea. It doesn't say inside it anywhere, but it does have a symbol on it. It says M-I-C-H-E at the bottom of it. Anyone have any idea what that one is? Let me know in the comments. And this one, just a little black purse. This is a Wilson's Leather Maxima. Nothing in them, so a lot of empty purses. And then we have, this one is also empty. At least it feels empty. Yeah, it's nothing in it. You gotta, we'll check every zipper and whatnot at home and let you know in a recap if there's anything hidden in these. But most likely if they look empty, they're gonna be empty. This one too, also empty. And this big one itself is a Ducks Lux. Is that what that says? Can you see that? It looks like it says Ducks Lux. Never heard of it. But it feels nicer than the other ones. It might be real leather at least. Let's keep going. Whoa, it looks like we have all women's shoes. Here's that other Timberland we're looking for. So these could be another 20 or 30 bucks because this will probably come off with some like wipes and shoe wipes and things like that. So that'll probably be cleanable. Um, we got some Chucks. Are they real? No, these are the bum ones. Or not bum one, but you know what I mean. The on name brand Airwalks. So they're not worth anything. Uh, I'll scoot this stuff aside for now. Let's try to get a little deeper in here. Yeah. yeah. All right, what do we got in here? This is another purse that's a XOXOXO. Also a little hair straightener in there. Gosh, look at all the stuff in there. Like you would not think all this stuff fits in this little tiny, like, what is this? Like a four by four or something? I don't even know. You wouldn't think all that stuff would fit in here, but it does. Uh, this is going to be all clothes again. Lots of clothes. I don't really like this clothes as much unless it's like coats and stuff or jeans. But the shoes, uh, you guys know I love shoes. Easy sales all day. Let's see what's over here. Just bags and more women's shoes. Doesn't look like anything's expensive though. It looks like a lot of, like we said, cheap Walmart, stuff like that. Not really resellable. Better to just donate that stuff. And here you got some pants and a studded belt. Uh oh. But it doesn't look like much else. Just clothes again. Hey, there's something in here. A router. Xfinity router. <laughs> we have sold routers last time we found them for like 50 bucks a piece. Some of them are locked to where you can't sell them, some of them won't be. So we'll have to check that out when we get home. Something else in here too. Infinity as well. Is this another one? Design. I don't know. Might be another router, a modem, or something like that. Can't really tell. Oh, what that little thing is? That looks like a one of those little mini cable boxes that hook up to your TV. 
and all the rest that's in there is just extension cord, so we'll just put this back. Eek. Move. Move. Man, we are running out of space quick. It looks like we're down to the last little thing in here. Let's see what's in there. What's in this bag first? Nothing really. Oh, we got a purse. Maybe. What is that? It's a book bag. Mm. Betty Jackson? I've heard of it. Let's get into this. What does this shirt hanging on here say? Come on. Gathering reimagined. Okay. We got that. Sweater. There's like a whole another bag of women's shoes. Ugh, look at that. These are all just different women's shoes. And we got X Appeal. Never heard of it either. All that's left in there is some more shoes. These. They have $10 price tag on them. Not good. Other than that, looks like we have a bunch of clothes. So definitely got the money back in Jordans and Tim's and the North Face and things like that. But we also have a lot of clothes that will be donatable. A lot of stuff to go through when we get home. So we're going to hopefully go fit all this in the car, get it home, go through it, and do a recap and let you know what we got. So see you then. All right, guys, let's do a recap of all the stuff we found in this unit. And then we got some really juicy information we want you to hear. It's kind of crazy, actually. First things first, let's get into the biggest find of the unit, which we didn't. I did not realize at first, as you could tell, I wasn't even a little bit excited when I was going through it, because I thought this was a toy at first, but turns out this is the Roland Juno G128 Voice Expandable. We looked this up, and you saw the price I popped on there, $300 or what somebody sold it for. I didn't even realize this when I edited the video at first. That was for a broken version of this that lit up, but did not play sound. The ones that have working sound are selling for even more than the $300. Some of them are going upwards of five and six hundred dollars. I also seen these for four to five hundred dollars. So either which way, four hundred, six hundred, even three hundred. This was a sixty-dollar unit. There is bank to be made. If this thing works, I don't really know how to test it. I don't think we have a power cable. I don't know. I didn't even look to be honest with you. It looks like it just takes a regular little circular power cable. So we might be able to test that. But I don't know how to test if it or test if it does sound because we don't have any of those aux cords that it needs. It needs like thick ones and different variations, I guess, to go to different machines. But if that thing works, you're talking big, big money. One of our most expensive, if not the most expensive thing we found in a storage unit yet. So that's pretty epic. We also got the North Face mountain climbing light vest. I guess here you get a better view of it. The front of it just looks kind of like a vest, but as you can see on the back, you got all kinds of different attachments on these. This is the North Face, the Summit series is what it says on the tag. All kind of attachments. It definitely looks like something used for hiking, mountain climbing, something like that. So if anyone's bought their own something like this, let me know. Cause I tried to look it up. I couldn't find the exact thing, but I could find things similar selling new for almost $200. So used, they're going for like 50 to 70. That's already paying back the unit just in that. Now let's go through some of the shoes. We haven't had a chance to clean any of these up yet, so they are still dirty right now. But we have the one pair of red and black Jordans. Are these? Sorry, these are KDs, my bad. Whatever. These are red and black ones that I'll probably end up keeping because it's my color combo. I love red, black, and white. But after we clean them up, they should look really nice because it's really not much on it other than just actual dirt. You know, you can usually look at a shoe and tell if it's like actually stained or there's just dirt on it that's going to come right off. If you have shoe brushes and cleaner and things like that, these will clean up easy and I'll probably keep them because I like them. We also got the giant shoes here, size 16, which are even too big for me, but they're not even in bad shape. A lot of times though, if you guys have ever been to Ross, they have giant shoes like this really cheap. So I've seen Nikes go for nine bucks because no one buys the size, but I've seen size up to 21 like that in Ross, but they usually look like that. He probably just bought it. I've done this before myself, that's why I'm saying it. You buy a pair of shoes because they're just so cheap Nikes, but then they actually end up being too big, so you don't really wear them, but you just couldn't resist getting Nikes for like nine bucks. I understand that, that's what happened. We also got these Jordans. They are a little more dirty than I thought of at first in the unit, but again, with some cleaner, some brushes and things like that, we might be able to get these things looking a lot better, hopefully, but either which way, still a nice pair of Jordans, and this guy just happened to like my colors. And we also got the Tims here, which are actually in better shape than I thought. 
this stuff is just surface staining like other than I can like lick I'm not gonna do it because I touch the shoes just lick my finger and wipe that right off we tried that with the water in the car so these will probably come clean right away these are size 14 too but I'm just not a boot person or I would keep them they were the original Thames I think about are the black ones all black original ones maybe but these just aren't my thing so we'll probably sell those last pair of shoes we got here are the red oops little red Nikes like that which are in pretty good shape I think these are Durant's too so what are these actually are they Durant yeah there's a 35 on the side okay they are Durant so I don't really like these at all but they're not my size anyway so it doesn't matter but those still sell for a decent amount of money we also got I don't want to drag it over here because it's extremely heavy but a whole thing full of DVDs I think I put it in the video it's like twenty some dollars in declutter don't want to move it because it's heavy but a lot of DVDs a couple CDs in there <clears throat> Is there something else in there I'm missing? Mm, okay. Oh yeah. We also found these hats, an old Maryland hat. A lot of hats actually, we're gonna go through them all here. This one, I don't really know if it's worth anything, but it was just with the rest, so we decided why not. That, I don't think is actually old, but I wonder if the camera could zoom on that. It actually got Bugs Bunny playing basketball on it, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> we got the Indiana Pacers. This one's kind of cool. I don't like the flowery bill. I think it's ugly, but it's the Washington Bullets before they even became the Wizards. So I'm assuming this one's pretty old unless they make them old nowadays, which they might in the D.C. area since we are right by D.C. But if it's actually that old from when it used to be the Bullets, it could be worth a good amount too. What was that? These also, we seem to always get Chicago Bulls everywhere out in Maryland as well. Chicago Bulls is definitely the most popular team out there. Or more likely it just matches. Man, these are brand new Ralph Lauren sunglasses. I don't think they've even been worn just because the tag's still there and they're literally still sitting with the little, what do you call it, instruction and wipe. So I don't really know how much Ralph Lauren uh, sunglasses go for. We didn't have a chance to look them up. And the price tag doesn't have anything on it other than a barcode. But they are some nice looking glasses and like I said, they're brand new. So hopefully they're worth a decent amount. No, Ralph Lauren clothes are worth a good amount. Now, let's get to this. Well, not really interesting, pretty bad information, but as usual, we seem to always find court records, right? Always find arrest records, but usually it's something like drug charges, which just, you know, just another drug dealer, it's everything. Which, by the way, the video you watched yesterday about us finding the cash in the safe, we got that phone to cut on, and guess what we have? Another drug dealer. This guy's selling edibles and weed and everything on there. We found all types of text messages they never deleted for meeting people for selling different amounts of weed, edibles, pills, and everything. Like, this, this is just all we get out there. It's all we get. But this guy, he wasn't a drug dealer as far as we know he might have been. He was a rapist. So... This guy, this one paper packet here has eight different offenses. I'm not gonna turn it around and show it, but count one was second degree rape, count two was extortion, camp, ugh, I just said camp. Count three, verbal extortion by verbal threat. <clears throat> count four, verbal extortion by verbal threat again. Count five, assault in the second degree. Count six, again, assault in the second degree. Count seven, sex of the fourth degree of sexual contact. And lastly, Number eight was the same thing, sex of the fourth degree, sexual contact. This guy, I don't want to really go into the story because we read the whole story, but it's like too specific. I feel like somebody out there, I'd be like, oh my gosh, they can't say that. It's like a really bad specific story. I don't want to go into detail. Just because, you know, it's possible somebody might see this and that'd be really messed up. But just know, we got his court papers and this isn't the only one. There's other ones, I don't know where they went. But again, here they are. More sexual assaults and things like that. I don't know if it's the same person like multiple times or this dude just like a serial rapist, but we wanna know why he lost the storage unit. He's probably in prison, hopefully rotting. But anyway guys, that's gonna be it. So this is another epic storage unit. Definitely that, that uh, keyboard piano thing was definitely the big find. I got some nice shoes, I got a nice North Face. Definitely a ton of money made here. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunting videos all the time. And if you wanna follow us on our social media, links will be on screen. Just click the links down in the description below. Make sure you follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace out.